everybody, this is me and welcome to a groom tech up and ride with me helmet cam edition so you guys can see in my point of view exactly what it's like to groom tech up and ride Joey. So the first thing I do is go into my tack room and grab my head collar and lead rope in Joey's colour which is lime green. All of his stuff is kind of lime green at the moment just because, I don't know, you guys know I love the matchy matchy but it's just really easy to be able to say ah green that's joey's stuff just so then it doesn't get mixed up with the other horses belongings so anyway now it's time to lead joey up to the yard i also like to give him some treats when i greet him as well i just feel like it's a nice thing to do um so yeah now i'm leading him up to his little tacking up area so here i actually have some baler twine that i do a quick release knot to so it's nice and safe i also as you'll see throughout this video i give joey a lot of pats a lot of hugs a lot of kisses so anyway first i grab grab my grooming kit green again because it's all of Joey's stuff and I also grabbed my wash bucket as well because he had a few little patches on him that I needed to clean off so it's time to dive into my grooming kit and try and find my plastic curry comb here because it's sort of going into winter soon well going into autumn we're not that far yet but as you can see lots of little hairs are coming off Joey at the moment he's slowly losing his summer coat which is kind of sad um, as you can see he's slowly going lighter guys it is happening he's getting a few dapples you can especially see in this footage I don't know some days Joey's like a light Joey some days he's dark Joey I think it depends also how sunny it is outside on the sunnier days he tends to look lighter but yeah Joey also likes to have a little look at me when I'm giving him a groom as well he loves this it's a bit like a massage for him so next I grab my dandy brush and I just give him oh yeah give him a little head scratch first of course so with this dandy brush or um, flick brush hard brush whatever you want to call it it just flicks away all of the dust that I've lifted up from using the plastic curry comb in the circular motion so this I'm just flicking it off you can see all that dust coming off it's so satisfying then I give his tail a groom I always like to use a mane and tail detangler just because all of my horse's tails just seem to get so knotty and it just makes it all nice and smooth and silky and then of course I give his mane a groom as well and Joey's mane just always likes to go in different directions. Joey's mane is also quite sort of, I don't know how to describe it, it's sort of frizzy almost. It just is very poofy and likes to stick up, stick out, to the left, to the right, everywhere. He's got a really nice forelock though and again, back with the head scratches. He just loves the head scratches so much guys, like look at him. Oh he starts to tilt his head as well when he really loves it like this. It's just the cutest thing, like how could you not give head scratches to him when he's like that? So um, yep, after eating up his mane, I then take off his overreach boots or bell boots. So the reason why he has these on is because he went through a little, a little baby phase where he found it the most entertaining thing to just every now and again come back from the field without his shoes. Um, luckily I think he might have outgrown that phase, he doesn't do it anymore, don't know if that's just the overreach boots or if he's just grown up a bit or I don't know if he had a thing for our farrier or what because there was one week and I had the farrier out pretty much every other day which was so embarrassing so anyway now I'm picking out his hooves he's a little bit more sensitive with his back hooves so I like to give him his space like to let him take his time he wriggles a little bit but then eventually he stands still and I always praise him a lot when he does um, stop moving his legs around and is nice and still for me so I do make sure I have quite a good grip on the hoof there it's not the proper way you're supposed to hold his hoof but for him he's just a bit more settled if I do that so that is why then I just pick out the rest of his hooves. Um, we had some rain like a few days before this so that's why his hooves are so muddy. We actually had a little muddy patch in our field which for some reason Joey just seems to love. He likes to roll in that patch as well which isn't the best. Luckily he wasn't actually too dirty on this particular day. Also like to give his hooves a little bit of a neaten up as well, a bit of a brush off, try and get that mud off um, because they were a little bit dirty as well. Um, also the flies decided to come out so I quickly grabbed some fly spray and started to spray him. He's actually pretty good with the fly spray. He's a tiny bit wriggly, but sometimes I just forget that he's just turned six, pretty much. He's still a little bit of a baby horse. He's quite a young horse, so there are lots of sort of new things that I'm doing with him or things that he hasn't done much of, which are a little bit scary. So I always forget how young he is because he is such a good young horse. Like, honestly, it feels like he's way older. Um, but, you know, there's little things like him reeling around. So after I've grabbed a bucket of water and also swept away, 
all of um, the yucky stuff that came out of Joey's hooves, all of that mud. So it's now time to grab that bucket of water and it's not actually to wash him because he wasn't too dirty, which was good. Um, but it's actually to wash his hooves off because Joey doesn't have the best of hooves. I think it's mainly down to we have had an absolutely awful summer. We've had barely any rain. So it's been super dry over here, which isn't the best for the horse's hooves. So all of their hooves have dried out a bit. So decided to give them a little bit of a wash. Also um, add a bit of moisture to the hooves as well. Um, um, as you can see, because we did have a little bit of rain a few days before, they were a bit muddy, so it was just nice to give his hooves a bit of a wash off as well, because, you know, they look nice and neat now. So anyway, now it's time to chuck that dirty bucket of water onto the grass, and here I'm just ha adding some sort of hoof ointment again, because of Joey's really dry hooves. This just adds a bit of moisture, adds a little barrier as well to trap in the moisture from me washing his hooves. Um, I've tried lots different products and things still sort of experimenting with what works best for the horses as you can see I'm also using a paintbrush this isn't a hoof oil brush I don't know why but I just prefer them all of the hoof oil brushes I've ever owned just end up breaking so I feel like a paintbrush is a bit more robust for any of you guys out there looking for a good hoof oil brush so anyway now it's time to dive back into my grooming kit once again and I think this is probably one of my favorite grooming activities and that is the face brush Joey loves it he just loves the attention all over his face if that's grooming if it's cuddles if it's kisses if it's head scratches he just loves it and closes his little eyes falls asleep go through his little forelock oh he's just the cutest guys look at his little ears forward he's just he's just loving life look at him he loves it <laughs> so now i'm done with grooming it's time to grab my wash bucket and plop it back into my tack room which is a little bit messy at the moment i probably should have swept the floor before filming this video but you know what this is a very realistic groom tack up and ride with me so then i had to make the um difficult decision of choosing my saddle pad for the day today i thought you know what We've got the lime green head collar, lime green um, tote bag. How about we just go full matchy and grab the lime green um, saddle pad as well. So here I'm just grabbing my Voltaire design saddle from my sponsors, which I'm so lucky to have. Um, Joey also likes to give it a little bit of a sniff before I put it on. I don't know why, that's just something he always likes to do. He likes to have a little investigate. He is such a nosy horse, as you guys will see later. Like he just likes to um, move his head around, just see what I'm up to all the time. Like, oh, hello, why are you down here? What are you doing? So here I'm just putting my my um, D-ring straps on. Also, it got a little bit dirty from um, me putting my girth on top of my saddle, which probably wasn't the best. So here I'm just doing it up. Yep, Joey's having a little sneaky look, being like, what are you up to? Um, so I'm just doing my girth up. I always like to do it on the loosest hole first because, again, I feel like I've said this before, but all of my horses just like to puff their tummies out when it comes to girth doing up time. So it just makes it a bit easier. Then it's back into the tack room to grab my boots. So I always like to put Joey's saddle on first, then get myself ready, and then at the very last point in time, put his bridle on because... As soon as I put Joey's bridle on, he's like, okay, it's riding time, let's go. Why aren't you getting on me? <laughs> so also I need to put on Joey's boots as well. So I had a little decision like, hmm, should I go for my gray boots? Should I go for my black boots? Went for the black boots in the end. So these are my brushing boots. Because Joey's quite a young horse, he's a little bit baby legs. He can just brush his legs together sometimes. He's a little bit Bambi on ice. He's getting a lot better though, a lot stronger, which is really nice to see. So yeah, I'm just putting them on. Also, when you put on brushing boots, for any of you guys that are learning about horses it's also good to make sure that you pull the straps so they always go towards the horse's tail that's what I've always been taught um, which is good to remember to make sure you put the right boots on the right leg so there we go he's all booted and suited ready to go so now it's time to go back into my tack room and grab my helmet and plonk that on my head to make sure I'm nice and protected also grab my gloves which I took way too long to find in my drawer which is kind of overflowing which isn't the best. Also grab my high vis as well because as we are going to be riding a little bit on the roads today it's good to be seen and to be safe. Grab my bridle as well and then it's time to shut my tack room door, give it a good lock up to make sure it's all nice and safe and secure and then it's time to finish tacking up Joey. 
something that's part of my tacking up routine that I feel like just I do but I always like to place my gloves on the fence sometimes Joey does knock them off which isn't the best just while I put his bridle on so I take off his head collar just put it around his neck make sure I've undone his lead rope as well so if he does get spooked or anything the lead rope doesn't pull on his neck um, then put on his little ear bonnet so we were super matchy matchy today with the lime green we were nice and bright for any cars to see us as well um, then I just do up his throat lash which is the first thing I like to put on to make his bridle nice and secure and then I do his nose band afterwards which is just underneath there um, Joey has quite a small head so um, his bridle I do have to do the buckles up quite tight then I just undo his um, head collar and then put on my gloves on so my gloves are there nice and ready I struggled a little bit putting these gloves on don't know why I think it's just one of those mornings um, just make sure that his forelock is underneath so it's not poking out and looking all messy all of his buckles are done up nicely everything's all good and comfy for him so I'm just rearranging his brow band that's all sitting nice and what a smart boy look how pretty he is so again time to do my girth up to make sure that when I get on I don't slip off the side then it's time to get him through and just shut up the gate to make sure nobody decides to escape and go for a little walkies um, so I actually like to use our old picnic bench as a mountain block it works really well because it has the sort of different steps as well so I gather up my reins check my girth once again and pull down my stirrups also dust off a little bit of dust that was on my saddle and then it's time to hop on I always like getting on with the picnic bench slash mountain block because it's so much better for your horse's back um, especially as Joey is quite high he's 16 hands but anyway here are some clips from our hack on this particular day Never find one that gets to me You're the warmth of my waking hours You're the dream when I go to sleep Stay with me Stay cry with the words I've spoken you almost walked out of that door Walk away when the road gets steeper You're my song, I've waited so long for you Hold on strong, baby, you're my
fights, but we've never broken. We've been down this road before. I made you cry with the words I spoke. You almost walked out of that door. Stay with me. Stay. All right, everybody. So now Joey and I are back from our hack, which I think he very much enjoyed. Look at that slobbery mouth. He got quite excited. He really enjoyed the little canter stroke gallop that we had across the field. It was nice and controlled as well. I'm so lucky to have a horse, which is so good in open fields. A lot of young horses can get quite fizzy or quite excited, but whenever I go across, I always make sure not to canter in all the fields. I did today just because I wanted to make the video a little bit more interesting. There were also a few cross country jumps that we hopped over as well, which he really enjoyed. I hadn't actually jumped over them before on him. I have on Casper, so I knew that they were fine. My friend actually built them. But anyway, so he was super good and super bold and brave. The second one, I think he had a little look at, um, but I just squeezed him on and he trusted me and he jumped it, which is really nice, even though it was like a tiny little log. You know, for baby horses or young horses like Joey here, it's all new experiences. They're all positive and it's just really good for him. Also, Joey is so good in traffic as well. We had so many different things come past us. If that was cyclists, if we had loads of cars, there was one pretty good big sort of truck that came along. So no, he was so good. So here I'm just untacking him. So I've taken off his saddle, taking off his boots as well. He's also got his bridle off. And I'm just giving him a little bit of a sponge down because he did get pretty sweaty. I also like to sponge down where his boots are as well because even though his boots are nice and vented and things, it's just nice to give them a cool down because you don't want him to be all hot and sweaty, no. So here Joey's having a little look at me. He loves to help out when it comes to grooming, washing, everything. He's such a curious, lovely little horse. So yeah, here he is, just having a little nosy, nosy nose, little look. Oh, he's just so cute, guys. I love him. So after lots of treats, it's then time to take him back out into the field, back out with Mickey and Casper. But before, of course, he has to have some kisses and cuddles. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. Enjoy these last few clips of just Joey Cuddles in general. He is just the cutest little guy. I really hope you enjoyed watching what it's like to groom tech up and ride Joey and I'll see you all next time. Bye.